Hi folks and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video which is part number two of building the ultimate light source we are going to build the enclosure of the light source. The enclosure will contain the cooling body, the fan, the optics and the high power LED and some other small components and you'll see that on how we're going to fit it all in. But the most important part is that the enclosure which we're going to build out of steel and here is part of the steel grid we're going to use and also a steel plate to build it of 1.5 millimeters because it has to be strong enough. And the reason for that is that we need to be able to attach our soft boxes or our light shapers to the enclosure. Now this one uh, is my specific um, soft box attachment. So typically the soft box would be here or my uh, umbrella would be here and this is the kind of locking system that I'm having on my uh, system. And I have to make something on the enclosure where this can go into and lock into. So how you have to make that uh, depends on what kind of light or soft boxes you have and then you need to look on how that system is working. Uh, but I'm going to show it, show it to you on this one because it's kind of the same for all kind of approaches. Uh, you may just have different key in or different diameters, but that's going to be the only difference. So um, let's take a closer look on what we really want to achieve. So this is my attachment of my uh, type of soft boxes. And you can see where the keys are. There's a big key and a smaller key or in length they are different and also in width. And it's kind of a ring. So I have to make a piece of metal where that really fits into. And at the end, um, we should have something like this. So the cooling system has to be mounted on the uh, fixture or the enclosure, but it needs to look something like this, right? And so I'm just going to try to show that to you on how it should look like and how deep the light source should be. So we will have the light source or the LED on the cooling body. And you can see it, it sits almost flush with this reflective area uh, on my uh, softbox because this is part of the softbox normally. And then normally we'll be putting the mirror up and then we'll put the um, optics up as well so like this and eventually we'll put some housing around it and that's how it's supposed to look like and the idea is that all this fits in a metal container but you can see where the optics are sitting where the lens is sitting you know where this glass is sitting you know it doesn't sit all the way back because then I would lose too much light. It needs to sit about flush with the lower side of your softbox uh, inner part, uh, which is around this area. So this is what we're going to try to build. It's not very complex. It's not very difficult. If you're a little bit handy with metal work, then you can do this very easily. Let me just put all this stuff aside for now and then we'll start looking at it on how we are going to build this. So the first step in building the enclosure is to get a piece of cardboard because we are going to make a template and you'll see what I mean in just a few minutes. And of course now we have no idea about the dimensions yet, but the dimensions are primarily determined by your connection piece of your own softbox. Uh, that's the most important part. And that's what we're going to do. So we'll start with this and then you'll see how we build up the template, then we make the model in cardboard and then finally we transpose it to the metal sheet. So the starting point is the diameter of your softbox. So let's measure that. All right, so this is about 90 millimeters, so I'll mark it. And of course, uh, I want to have some additional metal on the sides, so I'm going to give it an extra two centimeters on every side. So that's going to make it about 13 uh, centimeters in total uh, of width, or 130 millimeters. Now, you guys may be working in inches, but I'll leave it up to you. Uh, but the point is that you have to have sufficient um, material on the left and on the right of the opening 
because that has to be a metal plate where you're going to make the opening in. So that's about 30 centimeters. So I can put that aside and just take the cooling part I have. So the cooling part, if I make an enclosure, which is uh, 130 millimeters by 130 millimeters, if I'm going to make it square, then I can see I can fit this nicely into it. I also need to consider that I need to have the fan uh, fitted into it. And here is the fan. So the fan is working just fine as well. I have sufficient space on the left and on the right. So this is going to be my starting point. So 130 millimeters is what I'm going to work with. So I'm just going to mark this on this uh, piece of uh, cardboard because cardboard is always very handy to do this. And the circle is, uh, of course, uh, 45 uh, millimeters. And that should be the opening where your softbox is going into. So let's see. Yeah, that looks about right. So let's measure it. Yeah, that's about nine millimeters. So that's where this is gonna go. So now um, we know that the cooling system will come in like this. And we want to place the fan underneath. So I'm going to mark again where the end of the box is. I'm gonna give it a bit more slack because uh, I want to make it not too narrow. Now we need to figure out more or less where the fan will be. So I'm just gonna mark the housing. That's where the housing is. I'll make it that's about right so uh, the fan now will have to go in here somewhere right so yes so that's where the fan is supposed to be and the fan diameter is something else we need to figure out uh, how big that will be I mm, think we can go for yeah 80 84 So folks, uh, you've seen how I've built this little model here and this is how it's going to look like. In the front, we'll mount our um, softbox. Now your cutouts may be a bit different, your dimensions may be a bit different. And the intent is that we will kind of place it on like this. Uh, no, I, it's not very strong now. And then you can turn it and then I'm going to have all this like so. and. Um, Inside uh, we'll have then the uh, cooling system. Let me just try to put that up, but I need to support it a little bit. Uh, maybe that's a better one. Uh, well, yes, it is. Uh, so here inside we'll have the cooling fan and then we'll fit the housing um, accordingly. And I'm gonna mount it like this because otherwise it's gonna sit right on the ventilator and hopefully you can see that 
Oops, it's a bit difficult to show. So that will go in there like so. And this is how it's going to fit together. I have some extra space in the back. Uh, that's where I have some connectors and some switches. And that's how we're going to do it. So, not that hard, is it? Right, so now it's time to take the model apart again and transpose it to a piece of metal so we can start cutting. Now before I do that, um, I just want to show you one more thing on what I intend to do. Because you've seen me using two metal plates. Um, this is the 1.5 millimeter steel. And this whole box, as you see it, yeah, will be made out of this steel plate. The part which is missing is going to be made out of this grid. So this grid is going to go around it like so. Yeah. So we can have the hot air coming out of it. You may also have noticed that I placed the fan on the bottom. That's because I will place the radiator, as they call it, or the cooling system or the cooling vent, like so, and the heat is always going upwards. So now I'm going to blow in cold air from the bottom through the system instead of uh, sucking it out. So it's kind of a forced blow. Right. Uh, so well, let's take it apart again and um, transfer it to a metal plate. So that's the metal plate, that's the one we're going to cut now, uh, so um, and bend. Cutting the metal plate you can do it in many different ways, you can use a jigsaw to cut along the lines, you can use a grinder or you can use a bench. I'm going to use a bench because I think for me it's easier because I have the bench available but you don't need this to cut a piece of metal. But let's get on with it and let's start cutting it. There we go, that's been cut and hopefully it's quite straight, yes. So the next thing we have to do is start bending it. I'm going to bend the long edges first and you can do this in any way you want to do it. You can use some pieces of wood, you know, there's many ways to do this, but I'm going to do it on a bending bench because it's a bit easier to do it. Let's see. So this is the lip, at least on one side, and now we're going to bend the lip on the other side. So now I have the two edges and uh, we now can actually drill the holes. So let's do that and then we fold the other parts. So, so far we drilled the big holes and we also drilled the small hole and because that's where the power cable will come through, this is the little grommet that will go in there. It's a rubber thingy, so we can stick it in there. And now we need to bend it. And then at the end, we'll need to make the proper cutouts for the key uh, for the softbox ring. So let's start marking it again and start bending it into a box. So folks, we've got the holes drilled, uh, both for the fan and for the softbox attachment and now it's just a matter of bending the metal uh, where we want to bend it. We already marked it and you've seen that before when we made it, the template or the model in cardboard. So that's all we need to do, just bend it. Now you can bend it in your way, you can put a piece of wood here, another piece of wood on the other side and then bend it over, use a hammer. I'm going to use just a bench and even the bench is not really fit because the knife I have here isn't wide enough but you'll see, it, it will work. So let's do that. Because if that is not right, the box will be crooked. And we don't want to cook the box, do we? So. 
So that's the first bend and you can see it coming. Now we do the second bend. So you've seen me bending this uh, piece of metal on the bench, but you can also do it your own way with a piece of metal and just clamp it in place with two clamps and then use a hammer to knock it up. Do a little bit of time, don't force it. So all what's left now is to cut the keys in here and we can fit the, um, hopefully, uh, the ring of the softbox and then we can start mounting the stuff together. So the next thing we need to do is to cut out these um, keys for the softbox and I will be using a Dremel for that. That's the easiest way to cut it out. The edges are a bit rough, so we need to clean them up. So we've got the uh, basic frame structure built. We've got the cutout, so now I can actually fit the softbox onto it and turn it like this. But you can see I have a bit of a play. Now that's because I still have to put a back plate up and that's what I'll do. But for the rest, I'm kind of all right. And this is the part that we then will fix over it with screws and we can remove it when necessary and inside uh, we will be mounting the ventilator over here and you know this is coming through that hole as you can see so that's just perfect we then have the front part which is going to be the soft box uh, or the umbrella or whatever it is so light shaper i will have let me put this up here so it doesn't drop and then we'll mount the cooling radiator inside together with the lens and all that and that will be then at the end that will be the complete ultimate light source so let me finish up the little pieces, uh, the screws and the little back plate and I'll show you when it's done. And then we start to assemble everything and hopefully in part number three we can turn on the light. <laughs> 